All right, here we go. We have actor Lilo Brancato Jr. in the building. Welcome to Vlad TV. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you for having me. Absolutely, man. Uh, huge fan of The Bronx Tale. Uh, I remember when that came out. Just such a dope movie. Yeah, thanks. I still can't believe, you know, 25 plus years later that I was a part of something so special. And we actually got a reunion coming up in a few weeks. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Out in L.A. They at the Hollywood show or something. Okay. Very dope. Very dope. Well, this is your first time here. So let's go ahead and start in the beginning. Uh, you were actually adopted, right? Yeah. Okay. And you never actually met your, your parents, your biological parents? No, I came here when I was four months old. January 1st, to, uh, uh, to 1977. I was born August 30th, 1976. January 1st of 77 was my first day here in this country. Okay. Did you ever try to locate your parents later in life or not really? No, I never... I just didn't want to, like, you know, I just thought that maybe my parents would be hurt by me doing so. So I kind of just left it alone. But now that I am a little older, I, I'm a little concerned maybe if I was genetically predisposed to, you know, some kind of disease or maybe something that I can, you know, take precautionary measures and, you know what I mean? Gotcha. But you were actually adopted by a good family. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. Okay. And you grew up in New York. Yonkers, Yonkers, New York, yes. Okay. And originally you didn't have any plans on becoming an actor or going into Hollywood or whatever? No. Okay. So tell me about how you got your first role. Um, you know, it was a well-known thing at the time that Robert De Niro was to make his directorial debut in a film titled The Bronx Tale. And it was like all you know, kids that I knew and they were going to sc local schools and auditioning kids for the role because the, they didn't want an actor with any experience. They wanted real, they wanted authenticity. Um, you know, and I thought to myself that, you know, I'd probably be, you know, right for that role being that I do bear resemblance to De Niro. Um, but really never put much thought into it. And then I was just at Jones Beach on July 5th, 1992. And, uh, you know, that's when I was discovered. I was in the water. I was a scout handing out flyers. My brother was handed a flyer and saw what it was and said, hold on, let me get my brother. He'd be perfect for this. Came and got me out of the water. I met this guy, Marco Greco. And, uh, you know, he loved the way I looked. I started doing some impersonations and thought that, uh, you know, I should come down and read. Read for the film and audition. And they were holding auditions at the Belmont Playhouse, which was in the actual neighborhood where the film took place and I went there that night and I discovered that I had some ability to act so it was cool okay and I guess you did like the the lines from De Niro's taxi driver yeah initially yeah, yeah that and goodfellas and stuff like that and they were like kind okay. of amazed because I was only like 15 years old at this time and doing that and uh you know so it was uh it was really it was it was great you know it was a cool cool time in my life I mean, can you still do those De Niro impressions? Yeah, but it's, uh, you know, it's, uh, yeah. <laughs> Wait, you just, you just nailed that. Like the, the facial stuff you just did, like. Yeah, well, I do De Niro more of like the way De Niro was as De Niro rather than the characters. And I remember like De Niro would, he'd make like five different faces and say one word. So you go and audition. Right. And then at that point, De Niro's not in the room or anything, right? No. Okay. This was a while before that, that I got to that stage and that point. Okay, once you get to the point of you're actually in the room with De Niro, how does that go? Well, you know, when I first went down to Tribeca, it was like very overwhelming, you know, because there were so many kids there reading for my part. And, you know, you had like, real actors, like kids in the corner, like reading their lines, and I was very intimidated by all this. And everyone was introduced on a first name basis, and then, you know, from what I was told, we're gonna go upstairs and meet Bob. So I didn't know it was gonna be Bob De Niro. So, and I had already met Chaz. You know, I saw him in the building, and he would come up and talk to me and congratulate me and tell me I'm, you know, you know nothing but positive stuff, I was doing great. So I saw Chaz, he was sitting on a couch this way, so when I walked into the room, I saw Chaz, 
De Niro was sitting like I'm sitting and I'm coming in this way. So they said, Bob, Lilo's here to meet you. So when he turned around, it was Robert De Niro. So I was like, you know, I was caught off guard. Um, so it was very, very, very intimidating initially. But then I saw he was just a great normal guy and uh, we got to speaking and uh, told me that he was very pleased with what I was doing thus far and to just keep doing it, just to keep doing what I was doing. Don't change anything, this is what we want. So I said, okay, 